Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story. When we're burned, we're left with scars. And those scars come back to haunt us every now and again. Today on our space, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Up first, double whammy. This op could teach a master class on signs and symptoms of infidelity. My wife cheated on me. Ten years later, stood at my girlfriend, and it was all too familiar. I dated my wife for four years before we got married for two. I found out she was cheating on me after she asked me to find a document on her computer. I was already suspicious of her cheating from all the interactions that make your gut scream. Social media posts, musical tastes changing, weird comments, distancing, long work hours, etc. So I searched the person's name, I suspected she was seeing. The first email I clicked contained everything I imagined, except it wasn't. It only hinted at an emotional affair. But by then, I was convinced it was also a physical affair. So I endlessly questioned her and was gaslighted and lied to. And then after a million trickles of truth, I had the whole story, and we divorced. It was an awful, 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 disgusting experience. Passort to now. I, 38 male, found out my girlfriend. 30 of two years had gone to a guy's apartment while she was visiting New York City. She had met the guy through work and admitted that she found him funny and attractive, but assured me it was nothing to worry about. I'm trusting even after my wife's affair, but going out of her way to see him in New York City was odd. So I ask if anything happened. She admitted she had feelings for him, but nothing happened I still have an ill feeling in my gut. I finally confront her again and ask if anything happened that she's not telling me about. It's a game of 20 questions. And then finally, did you make out? No. He kissed me. He kissed you? Like forced to kiss on you? No. I mean, we kissed. It was mutual. So I asked to see the text between them to assure me it stopped at a kiss. She radically turned against me and said that it was an invasion of her privacy. I'm torn on this. Was I in the wrong to ask to see texts? And after I ax again, she told me I was scaring her and told me to move out, so I did. I see the kiss is cheating, no doubt in my mind, and she immediately blamed me for her behavior. I was between jobs and having a tough time. I had just been let go from a place I worked out for 16 years. I still don't know if it was an all-in physical affair. I feel like it's safe to assume so but I'm desperately trying not to obsess about it, which was very effing hard. The main point I'm writing about this is that my intuition and experience from my marriage made what my girlfriend was doing feel like I was living in Groundhog Day. She even would say I was projecting in my ex onto her and that my experience with my ex was making me extra paranoid. Has anyone else experienced this? Here are a few similarities between experiences that set off alarm bells. Girlfriend had a new sudden interest in Taylor Swift after returning from New York City. This happened with my wife and Mumford and Sons. It was a noticeable change in taste because she was a punk girl. I put on a Mumford song one night when we were intimate, and after she asked me to turn it off, she ran out of the bedroom and puked. Later I found out the dude she was seeing, introduce her to Mumford, duh. Girlfriend overcompensated and niceness during the affair. Same with my ex-wife. Girlfriend continues to diminish the encounter to just to kiss if she lied about a kiss. She's gotta be lying about more, right? After I found out my ex-wife was in a full-blown physical affair, she diminished it to just sex. Two weeks before a girlfriend's trip to New York City, she got hung up that I considered deceit cheating, a no question, and a relationship action. She really wanted to define what was considered cheating. It was a weird conversation. Ex-wife didn't do this. She was jealous if I even talked to another woman and claimed she would never cheat. Girlfriend cheated with a semi-public figure who got in Twitter trouble for a toxic comedy sketch he wrote. Girlfriend is the definition of a virtue signal around Instagram and yet still defends the guy's sketch. Ex-wife would similarly defend the person she was seeing, too, even in the sight of terrible behavior. Social media. 
People wear their hats on social media and then deny it meaning anything. It's wild and usually the clearest insight. There were so many body language moments with Gopherin that were just like the ex-wife. It's the tiniest thing that screams in your ear. Especially when you've seen it experienced it before. Okay. One last bizarre thing. My ex-wife called me the same night. My girlfriend walked into the dude's apartment. I haven't talked to my ex-wife for three years. It's a strange coincidence, and I can't get it out of my head. It's like my ex-wife's sense to my current girlfriend was about to cheat. A weird synchronicity or nothing at all. That's what I hate about the lies. You're in a constant state of unease about what to trust. So curious if other people have had mirror experiences to anyone acknowledging, wondering, yes, I left her. I'm a 30-year-old man living with his mom again. But I have my dogs in the future as a blank canvas. It's exciting. Thank you for your advice and feedback. I'm so glad I posted here today. Let's see what kind of advice the community offers. Sarcastic Guru 13 says her going to the dude's apartment is enough to break up. That is wildly inappropriate. Adults don't go back to an apartment and just kiss. Please tell me you broke up with her and didn't just move out, she is lying. I'm not sure why you're even talking to her. She has no respect for you, herself, or the relationship. Her questions a few weeks prior means she knew she was going to do this. This also means that she was communicating with him leading up to the trip. He only wanted a banger and she's too blind or stupid to see it. She threw away someone that loved her for nothing. Dim Tim from Q chimes in. Hope he, you have been there before and the experience has left you with a bunch of intuitive gut instincts that while it's not obvious, are there. So follow your gut and know that your girlfriend is cut from the same cloth as your ex. Having your girlfriend permanently out of your life can only be a good thing. One more comment from Independent Shame 504. I want to say the only benefits from being cheated on. Actually there's a few of the person cheating on you was an all-around craphead is th the things you learn and hopefully the naivete you have about things like love and relationships before being cheated on evaporates. People can call it paranoia or whatever, but it's only paranoia if you're wrong. And, buddy, you weren't wrong. I don't have any experience like this to compare notes with I was cheated on once, as far as I know, by one person and left. But I wanted to let you know, I do think nothing you did was in the wrong or paranoid or overbearing or any of that crap they tell you when they're effing around. We get one life to live. No point wasting on someone whose trust is in doubt. There's definitely truth found in these comments. After going through experiences like this, what you learn is a 100% valuable. Not only do you learn a lot about other people, but you learn a lot about yourself. The old feelings in our guts is never wrong, and it's always trying to tell us something. I'm sorry I had to go through this, not once, but twice, but your outlook for the future is promising. You're exactly right. It's a blank canvas. You can be and do whatever you want. It's never too late to start over. What about you? Do you have a similar experience to share with Op? Share them in the comments below. Next up, a not so surprised surprise party. The cat's out of the bag for this op. I need help with my girlfriend. Okay. For starters, I'm a man, 23 male, my girlfriend, 27 female, and her sister, 20 female. My girlfriend turns 28 in two weeks. My girlfriend's sister and I have been planning a surprise party for her. We have been doing this for almost a month and a half. Thanks to some friends who decided to contribute to this prize party. We started with how the party would be and where it would be. The sister that I will call from here, Layla, and my girlfriend Veronica. False names for privacy. Layla and I spoke by message to find out where we could have the party, whether in a restaurant or at her house, but her parents gave us the option of doing it at her house. Since it is a very spacious place, which was perfect. I deleted the messages that Layla and I sent so that Veronica wouldn't discover them. It should be noted that she and I have an open cell phone policy. And we review them every three weeks, and here is the problem. One day when I'm chatting with Layla, and apparently, I was not very careful to hide my actions, 
I didn't realize that I was spending too much time on my cell phone as I was more focused on the surprise party. Then I neglected her. And one day, she took my cell phone to check the messages and saw that all the messages with Layla were deleted. She demanded an explanation for me about it, but I couldn't tell her anything since she would be exposing all the planning. She started crying because she thinks that Layla and I have an affair behind her back, and it's really not true. I love this woman who have a relationship for four years, and I would never think of cheating on her. After that, she went to a close friend's house. Her friend knows about the party. I contacted her friend so she won't tell her about the surprise party and also explained what happened. Told me that she won't tell her anything, but she recommended that I fix this problem. I also contacted Layla, my in-laws and friends. My in-laws told me to reveal about the party. Layla said that maybe it could be better, but she's not sure and other friends tell me to do it and others say no, but I really don't know what to do. All this happened two days ago. I tried contacting Veronica but I had no answer. She was fine. No harm was done. I love my girlfriend. The only thing I want is to have her by my side and hug her since seeing her cry broke me. I've been crying over this misunderstanding, but I really don't know anymore. That's why I write this. I make this post to get advice and point of view from strangers on Reddit. Please help me. Edit. Well, I read all your comments, and they really opened my eyes. As I read them, I realized I was so focused on the surprise party. I neglected my own relationship, and I sucked at it with Veronica. I'm gonna communicate with her and tell her about the party she was planning for her birthday. The time invested in this does not compare to the time of my relationship. I would rather tell her than lose her and about the open phone policy told me that she wanted a policy of open phone after dating for one year. She told me that she was afraid that I would abandon her since it was her first serious relationship. I should have specified that more, but we really didn't do it regularly anymore. But I think that when she saw that they spent a lot of time on their cell phones, that she didn't spend much time on hers anymore, she must have been suspicious and that helped her see my cell phone and find the deleted messages from Layla and me. Really thanks for helping me. I will keep you updated if anything happens. Thanks again for your advice. Now to the community. Important Hag 7764 kicks us off. Spill the beans, it will still be a good party. She will be happy that you and her sister were thoughtful enough to plan it. Dogtown 206 says, tell her with her sister. I'm sure Lila didn't delete the messages and can show Veronica. Bid routine has one more thought. This is why open cell phone policies aren't actually awesome. You trust someone or you don't. If you need to poke around every three weeks, you potentially create issues that don't exist. Yeah. No harm, no foul. If you didn't have anything to hide, you should have just ruined the surprise altogether. You're right. The relationship is absolutely more important than one surprise party. So it's not going to be a surprise, big whoop. It will still be one heck of a party rather to want a surprise than throw away a relationship. I think she was right to be concerned about the deleted messages without any context. I can see how that would be a cause for concern. Would you have thought the same? Thank you for joining us today on our space. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. We'd hate for you to miss out. See you soon.